Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a blessed day today. Today we're going to be working on this beautiful purple smoky eyes using baked eyeshadows. I did get a request on how to use baked eyeshadows. So this video is for you girl. And we're using this Perry Ode Hard Candy Baked Eyeshadow. But honestly that's the only baked eyeshadow I had in my collection. So to get started we prime my eyes with the IOA Studio Perfect primer and use the AOA Studio loose powder and soft light to catch fallout. Now I did have to use some additional shadows in this video. Um, I wanted to use all baked shadows but like I stated before I just didn't have enough baked shadows to do this. I'm using Believe Beauty's Plush Purples palette I believe it's called and I'm using that dusty gray purple in the palette and I'm applying that in my crease. Now I'm applying this in a more tapered blending style crease brush and it's going to be good for not only blending but placing and building up shade as well. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just blending up that shade in my crease. The next shade I'm taking is this beautiful dark purple in the palette. And it's almost like a metallic looking purple and it will apply like that but the, I'm taking it on a pencil brush, I'm building it up in the outer corner and once we start blending it out most of that shimmer you see will be gone. I love doing this with darker shimmery shades. If you blend them out, build them up, use them in the outer corner, a lot of times you can get away with using shimmer shades because apparently that's like um, a no-no. You know, you're not supposed to use shimmery shades in your crease. You can use shimmery shades anywhere you want. So apply that in the outer corner, building it up, and bringing it about halfway into the lid. Now this is Hard Candy's Baked Eyeshadow in Ab Fab. And as you can tell, baked shadows are kind of dome-shaped like this. I'm sure there are others out there that maybe are not. And I'm taking this on a small eyeshadow brush and how you would use this, and I'm assuming you wanted to use it wet, is you would spray your brush with setting spray or spritz it with water, dip your wet brush into your shadow, I promise it won't ruin it because it's a baked shadow, it's meant to be used wet or dry, and the best way to apply this to your lid is to pat it into the lid. Now for best results also you're going to need to use a primer and you can also go in and wet your brush as many times as you need to throughout this process to build your shade up. And I find that using baked eyeshadows I get quite a bit of fallout so you may too. So the powder to catch fallout is a must. So as you, here basically that's all you do is just build it up on your lid until you're satisfied and we'll get that nice kind of wet metallic kind of look and it's so pretty and it dries when it dries down it kind of on the lid looks like a purple with this blue undertone it's so beautiful so I do hope that this baked eyeshadow tutorial was helpful for you girl let me know in the comments below if you have any other comments or questions about it I will be happy to answer them for you so here you'll see me just adding shade back to the crease blending and we're using the lightest shade in that Believe Beauty eyeshadow palette as the highlight and it's like a light pink shade and I just applied that to the brow bone, blend it down into the crease, and now you'll see me go back in with the crease shade and blend that in with the brow bone, wiping away the fallout, and I just love purples. Look how green my eyes are. They're so, so green. And I had to wipe that away with a wipe so I could tight line and finish with my waterline and stuff. Now that's Jordana's Black Point eyeliner pencil. Now here, this is optional, I did a thin line of the LA Colors eye marker and honestly if I had to do this look over again I probably would opt out of the liquid eyeliner because lately it's just not been my thing. Um, but that's that's up to you. So I'm taking that dark purple we used in the outer corner from the Lee Beauty palette and I'm applying that to the lash line. Cleaning up the edges with my sponge and this is NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Of course, I'm blending that out in the inner corner. And I'm using Revlon's Galaxy Dream Eyeshadow Palette or Highlighting Palette. And I'm using the Duochrome that has like the blue purple shift to it in the palette. Apply that in the inner corner and blend that out with the other eyeshadows. Believe Beauty Hydrama Mascara. A couple coats of that. 
I really do like this mascara. It's really good. Especially if you follow all directions on the back of the package. Wonderful mascara. So that's the finished eyes. For lips, once again, I know, big surprise, 920 Maybelline New Lust. Can't help it. Um, set that makeup. I'm using Believe Beauty Setting Spray. And that's our finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful, and will try the look out for yourself. Some nice, beautiful, smoky eye. And stay tuned for more tutorials like this. Don't forget to check the description box for additional links as well as a product list. Don't forget to also like the video, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for watching.